Welcome to Adventures in Reach. I'm standing outside in the snow. It's 28 degrees and I'm about to take some of these layers off to show you a visualization of what it looks like as you are layering up, including after being wet. So stick around for that at the end. What I'm using here is this thermal imaging camera. It's a FLIR camera that is, you know, you can get for your Android or iPhone or whatever, and it has a different kind of plugs. It's a, it was about 200 bucks when I bought it, and you get some pretty cool imaging on here, which you'll see in the video. So if you're interested in checking out where the wires are in your house or leaks or doing videos like this, then check out these FLIR cameras. I'll have the link in the description. All right, let's get to it. So as you're watching this, you're seeing some different colors. The white is the warmest part, the red the next warmest part, and that means that that's where there's a lot of heat escaping so that the camera can detect that. The, the cooler parts are the the blue and the greens, that's where there's less heat escaping. So you're always gonna want a base layer. So we're gonna start with some burgoline pants. So the long johns are going to wick moisture away from your skin and uh, hopefully progressively through the layers until it's out. And so when it's evaporating, it's not against your skin where it's going to pull more warmth with it. Second, I'm grabbing a long john top. So this is really thin wool shirt. All right, you'll probably already see a slight change in the colors, right? It's already trapping a little heat in there. I feel some of the heat being retained, but it's still pretty chilly. So next, we're going to move on to a little bit of an insulative layer. Generally, what I use is a mid-weight fleece. This is sort of thin, but it's it's got some decent warmth to it. Again, it's just nice to have layers that you can put on and off. I'm gonna go back to the bottom here. These are some uh, full zip rain pans. So that wind barrier on the outside keeps the, the wind from stealing my warmth as it's going past me. It makes a huge difference to have that outer layer, that shell layer. Now with mid layers or the heavier layers, you can put as many or as little as you want or need for those conditions. When it's getting cold, I, I often use something like this uh, puffy jacket. This is gonna be a thin slate insulation. This happens to be a North Face puffy. It does have a little bit of a shell, but it's not windproof and it's not waterproof or water resistant. I really like to have that outer shell to keep me from getting wet, keep my layers from getting wet. So then I'm going to add that outer layer. This is a Mountain Hardware ski jacket and it's got a really nice Cordura. It keeps the snow, the rain out, it's, it stops the wind and has a nice vents on the pits. And so you can probably see a different color down there at the pits. And so if you're really getting overheated, you can just kind of unzip those. Hopefully you're doing that proactively before you're truly overheated. Next, I'm going to add a hat, of course. When I think about layering a hat, I think a hat and then a hood. And of course, with this puffy, I've got the hood and then the outer layer hood as well. Be curious to see what color my hands are right now. They're pretty chilly. These are just thin gloves. You'll see that color change pretty quick. And then I wanna show you layering with gloves. These are a thin mitten. It's literally just like a windproof material, a little bit of weather resistance. And with that shared warmth of the mitten versus a glove, uh, I'm going to warm up a lot quicker. Now the cool thing about these is I have this little extra finger here and now I can I can grab stuff, I have a little more dexterity, or I can pop my finger back in so that, you know, it's just the mitten again. They're lightweight, but they provide a lot of extra warmth. I know a lot of my subscribers have little amounts of time. So my goal with this is that you are successfully staying warm in the winter, you're enjoying those outdoor sports, you're getting out there and spending more time at the sport instead of worrying about being cold or warm. We'll switch back to the thermal. We're gonna de-layer. So I took a bunch of layers off. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this washcloth with it's soaked. I'm going to rub it on my upper body when we switch back to the thermal and show you how fast it's gonna cool down. There's a little bit of a wind out here. So let this be a lesson of like, stay dry. Don't let yourself sweat too much. Adjust your layers. So evaporation is one of the fastest ways that you lose heat. I feel the heat going from my body. If you just get the bulk of the water off of you and then put your layers on that you're going to be much warmer. Whoo, that's a cold breeze. 
Alright, after I'm done freezing my butt off and we get to the end of this video, I want you to check out the video I'm going to link that will be the ways that we lose heat and how to gain it back. That's helpful for um, if you're going to be spending any time outdoors. Now, of course, it's hard to get layers on when you're wet. Here's this mid-weight fleece. There's the puffy. And throw a hat on. The shell layer. I can feel the, the little bit of wetness, but at the same time, I am many more times warmer now than I was. Remember, we can, we can add fuel so you can eat. You can get your muscles moving to get them working and producing some heat. Just keep adding insulation. Uh, don't forget to hydrate as well. Helps keep your blood volume up so that you have more to circulate around. Otherwise, it's going to be shunted to your organs and away from your extremities. If this was at all useful to you, please hit the like button. It's super helpful for the YouTube algorithm that we're all trying to satisfy. So hit that like button. I hope you consider subscribing. I generally do a video every week. I hope you get out there and adventure and let me know in the comments if you found this useful and what you want to see next. And don't forget to check out the video up here about the ways that we lose heat and how to gain it back. Catch you next time.